Jow was just made me throw some slides together. I was going to run through all the field event stuff that you'll see later, the laser links, the field links, the result TV, but we can kind of go through it really fast. It's more of a picture than text thing, so. So basically laser links, we use it all the time for, before we only used it for weight throws, hammer throws, javelins, etc. We started using it for long jumps after this, uh, this summer with the MSL guys. Um, and Doha they used it for the long jumps, and those guys were ridiculously fast at getting the laser up there. But uh, in the background, there's the guy with the uh, with the computer, and he's running laser light, so he's pulling or the uh, field looks light, so he's pulling in the wind from the wind gauge, the laser from the, the laser measurement, and sending it to the MSL database. Uh, field event displays. This is exactly what we have back there. That's um, what we used in Doha. It's a spinning motorized base. Let's you pass the Ethernet communications up through it while it turns, which is really neat. Um, this is we use we use a different pitch of board than what we have back here in, in our own use in the US. These are 10 millimeter boards. So it's actually four smaller 10 millimeter boards put together. But you can see um, just you can see right there's the guy running field links, and we have it all tied into a network so it displays on the scoreboard. This is just Another picture of the scoreboards. They're actually such tight pitched that you can put logos, images. It lets you change what you display on the boards. We also tied it in and used it at the finish as a clock, and it also can scroll a bunch of results lines through it. This is what we used at the Air Game. The uh, spinners, there's two pictures here of the actual guts of them. <laughs> but uh, it's a motorized base that Kevin found and reorchestrated to work really, really well. Um, and then we made them double sided and they covered them all up nice and neat and purple. That's all the displays we have in Doha. Um, customizing results, displays, and all that stuff is more what I've been talking about, I guess. With the new result TV, it kind of opens up the doors. Before, you had to have a solid color background, which kind of limited things you could do. With now, with the transparent thing, it's my favorite part, but you can change everything behind it. So if you look, like this is result TV with the new panels, and you can customize the background. So you can actually see, you kind of can't on the projection, but you can see the logo kind of pop out in the background instead of having a solid color. Um, result TV is always cool. I mean, parts of it, are limited based on what you want to do with it. Like this, obviously, isn't straight up field links, because in America we have to show the English and the metric at the same time, which makes everything more complicated. But with result TV, you can always color code things like the wind, make it red if it's, if it's over 2.0, green if it's under, things like that. And then same thing here, this is all kind of customized stuff that we've played with, but it just kind of shows what the boards are capable of. You can do color coded X's and O's and things like that. Um, the great thing about these, unlike like, some Dactronics boards and other boards, is you can actually use the real estate of them to show other things like split times, start list, results, and a running time. So I know like the Dactronics boards that we have, you can't show both at the same time unless you have the plug-in that feeds with them. And sponsor logos and whatnot are always kind of nice. Um, this is Result TV. We did this at uh, SEC's last year where we there wasn't anything going on, they didn't actually have video for the video board. So we customized it to show the people that are currently up in the field events. And if you see here, this is the actual display board that we use. The actual computer operator is right there, and then it all kind of ties in. So all the data is based off of field links. And with mean, field links, it's so useful because it stores all the data. Field links like something that we're going to talk about later too that's more scoreboard based. But this let you, I mean, you can show the standings between attempts, between rounds, at the end of a competition, etc. This is the, just a current competitor. We also take the field links data a lot and uh, we'll funnel it into a database and score it for the announcers. So as the event's going on, you can see the field standings filling in and using the scoreboard script to populate the current competitor. And that's one thing I've always liked about links is the, the comports and the scoreboard outputs. And I think that's the big difference, 
the difference between that and other things. It's just some more signaling here. This is all based off a scoreboard script that I finished. Then you can log the splits, show things with every down, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, the one thing I always thought was nice about field mix is it, it can be used as an information gathering system. So instead of it just being on the field of a computer, if you spend a little time, you can kind of turn it into something else. So this is the internet results that we use. And as the field event progresses, field mix keeps updating the database and the results update on the internet. Split times and team scores. And Ravi, we're going to be going over all this quick in the back of the room uh, after the break. And if you have any questions or want to see more about what some of the top end uh, we can do with technology, we'd be happy to show you. Uh, just one question about the uh, Did you measure with laser on the cobalt and iron? Uh... We, we did not do verticals with it. Gill is the big, uh, Gill's the big service provider, equipment provider in the U.S. for mass and all that stuff. So they do that internally. But even in, in, uh, uh, in the No, that, that was UCS, so they did the same thing there. So just so as you know, grab a cup of coffee, 